Hey you guys, it's Toya and thank you for watching Toya JTV. So today I'm excited because I'm going to be starting a new relaxer stretching series. So this is the first one that I've done in a long time. The first one I've done since I've cut my hair. The first one I've done this year after coronavirus, all that. So I'm excited to start. So this week, I'm actually going to start the week of relaxer day. In the past, I've started, um, I've started the first video with the week after I shampoo or, you know, the first week that I shampoo. So this week, we're going to do all that different, all right? We're going to start with the week of. So when am I doing the week of my relaxer? Then we'll go from week to week on what I do each week leading up to my next relaxer, all right? So by the time I get my next relaxer, then that will end this series. So we have a long way to go because, of course, this is the week of the first week. This is actually, I'm only two days in at this point. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, you guys. So what I'm going to do first is, of course, this is week one of the relaxer stretch series. So what I'm going to do first is I'm only a few days into my stretch. I literally got my relaxer two days ago. Okay. So for week one, of course, I'm, I'm not going to add any more heat. And it's day two, day one, I just wrapped it. And so yesterday I wrapped it. And then today, what I'm gonna do is, uh, you see how the, you're not really seeing the layers as much as you were. So what I'm gonna do to refresh that, instead of adding heat, I'm gonna add rollers. So what I'm gonna be doing is using these, using these rollers, these are the hard rollers. These are old school rollers, I use these. I've been using these for years. You know, this is what your grandma used to use. You know, I use them faithfully, okay? I like them because I like this right here that it just clips on. You can use a lot of hair, but not too much because they will pop off. But I'm going to show y'all how to fix that. You could also use flexi rods. We'll do that on another week. But I'm using these right now, okay? I also have these red ones. These are a little bit larger, but they don't come with that, you know, that security that clap on there so that's what I want so that's why we're gonna stick with these these are great for short shorter hair um, if you have longer hair these will work but you'll like I said you'll have to just do them kind of loose all right because if you do them too tightly you will get too much of a curl unless that is what you're going for I'm not going for that so what I'm going for is simply a um, just something to just make the layer show a little bit more just a little you know a little pep in the step all right so i'm gonna get started and again there's no really rhyme or reason for me to like the order that i'm placing them in. i'm just kind of placing the rollers where i'm just kind of placing the rollers in the direction in which my hair will be going All right, and then again, I'm just gonna go all over the head, placing these rollers. Like so. All right, so I'm just finishing up on this side. And again, the key is to roll them loosely because like I said, I'm not going for curl. I'm just going for a little bit more body. So that's why I tried to put as much hair on the roller as possible. When you put two, I'm going to show y'all the back. When you put too much hair on the roller, then the clip will pop off. All right. So you don't want, you want to, you know, get to that fine line where you have not too much, but not too little. Okay. So now that I have all the hair, um, rolled up i'm going to be using my scarf to tie this down and secure the rollers okay so you could use a satin bonnet but i like to use the satin scarf because you can get it nice and tight and you can still kind of sleep kind of sleep how you want to without the rollers popping out if you just sleep on a satin bonnet you will have to sleep cute um because you still can't let your head touch the like you can't just roll around and around on the pillow um with the scarf you can kind of lay directly on your pillow, like I said, without the rollers falling out. So again, this is the scarf that is on the Battle Jones 
website. Um, and I'm going to be using this and I'm going to show you how I'm going to tie it. This will go in the back. Like so. Then I'll bring the corners in. Pull it. So I have it nice and tight. Right, so I have it nice and tight. Then I'm gonna just kind of tie it in a double knot. And boom, the rollers aren't going in anywhere, okay? And I almost kind of tie this, almost like how I'm tying my shoe. And any corners that are like poking out like that, you're just gonna tuck them in like so. So that no hair is showing. That way when you jump in the shower, uh, none, none of your hair will get wet. And you can put a bonnet on top of this. But I recommend putting the scarf on first, okay? So I will come back in the morning and show you guys. Because more than likely, since I'm going to sleep in this, I know a lot of people say, I can't sleep in rollers. It's too hard to sleep in rollers. It hurts. You know, all that good stuff. I hear you. I'm used to sleeping in rollers, so it does not bother me at all. But if you are one of the ones that you can't really sleep in rollers, then I would say do this like an hour before you need to leave and go somewhere. And that should give you enough time to get the body that you need. But again, so what I'll probably do in the morning is wrap this, just depending on the curl level. Nine times out of ten, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it, all right? So I will come back in the morning and show you guys what's going to happen. Okay, so it's the next day and I'm just gonna go ahead before I start getting, uh, get my shower and get dressed and everything. I'm gonna go ahead and take these rollers out. And I slept real good last night, so I'm sure some of these may just fall out by themselves. Okay, they did good. So I can already see it's not too, too curly. And again, just doing them very loose is the trick to not having just super tight curls. If your goal is super tight curls, use a smaller roller, use less hair, and you'll get super tight curls. All right. All right, so I am gonna go ahead and wrap it up for a bit. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up. Again, um, I have it wrapped and then I will come right back once I get my shower, get dressed, and we'll get the finished look. All right, so stay tuned. All right, so I am at a point where I can take my hair down. touch of a few rollers so i hope this video helped you all if so please don't forget to subscribe to the channel like comment and share with all your friends and i will see you all next time thank y'all for watching Bye bye